Hello, welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at Founders Dirty Bastard. It's a Scotch style ale, rich caramel notes, malty sweetness, 8.5% ABV. This has been in my fridge for quite a while. Um, I've had so many other beers to review. This one just got pushed to the back again and again. This one was canned on February 5th. But we're hoping it's still good. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, where the classics never go out of style and new legends arise. Dirty bastard. Let's see. Oh, uh, drop my paper. This is brewed, let's see, brewed and packaged by Founders Brewing Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. There it is. Uh, it gets a 3.77 on untapped with 266,000 ratings. 8.5% ABV, ABV with 50 IBUs. It says it's so good it's almost wrong. Dark ruby in color and brewed with uh, seven varieties of malts, complex in finish with hints of smoke and peat, paired with a malty richness and a right hook of hop power to give it a bad attitude uh, that a beer named Dirty Bastard has to live up to. Ain't for the wee lads. All right, let's get it out of this can and check it out. It's kind of hot out here, but not extremely hot. And uh, not very humid, so it's tolerable. Here we go. It does have a pretty color to it. Look at that. Kind of a reddish, almost rusty color. With a nice head. Kind of a rusty beige head. I can see some light coming through it. All right. It smells malty and sweet. Kind of like um, caramel a little bit. There's something else there too. A little bit of alcohol aroma, lightly, slightly. Let's taste that head. What a gorgeous looking brew. Wow. That is really rich, complex. A bit of alcohol flavor, caramel, mmm. And some other things that I can't quite identify, but let's dive into the body. Cheers. Picking up uh, alcohol, not a lot, enough to make it interesting. You can definitely tell that you're drinking a stronger brew there, I got it all in. Um, let's see what else I can pick up. Hmm. Almost a hint of cherry. Like a subtle cherry in there. But the maltiness uh, is very strong with a bit of alcohol. It's got a nice mouth feel, at least medium. It's a delicious brew. Um, what else did it say on the can? Sometimes I have to cheat. Rich caramel notes, we got that. Multi sweetness, we got that. Let's see. Complex and finished with hints of smoke and peat. I'm not sure what peat are they talking about. Peat moss? I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. 
smoke. Let me see if I can pick it up. I suppose it's in there. I'm not able to pick that up specifically, but when it's complex, there's a lot of different things in there. It's it's tough to you know pick one thing out. But I do like it. It's very different, very robust. I don't know what else to say. I think it deserves better than a 3.77. And you also have to factor in the fact that this can is uh, six months old. Uh, 377 on untapped. Um, that's a little low. I'll go four. I'll go four on this one. I like it a lot. But maybe if it was fresh, it would go higher. Hold on, I got to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. I'll go four on it. Uh, sometime if I get a fresher can. Hold on. <coughs> get a fresher can. I'll re-review it. Because I think it probably is better fresh. And we're going to say that's it on the review. A little bit earlier today, I did my Taste Challenge Thursday review, which was Moosehead versus Labatt's Blue. And at the end of the video, I said, I don't have an old Moosehead can. I forgot that I do have an old Moosehead can. So, there it is. Moosehead beer. On this side, it says Moosehead Pale Ale. <coughs> Five percenter. I think it's the same beer. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Moosehead Brewing Limited, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, and St. John, New Brunswick. Open from the bottom. There it is. So I'm correcting myself ahead of time. I'm going back in time to go forward in time or whatever. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you next time. Dirty Bastard, give it a try. It's pretty good. I know Drew has a can. I sent him one. I can't wait to see what he thinks. I know he's not a huge fan of malty beers, but he might like this one. Catch you next time. Bye. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, Mrs. Twice. We would have come earlier, but your husband wasn't dead then.